The USA men's basketball national team is the most successful team in international competition, winning medals in all 18 Olympic tournaments it's entered, including 15 golds. In the professional era, the team won the Olympic gold medal in 1992, 1996, 2000, 2008, 2012, and 2016. There are those who say their glory days are over. First glance, this may not make sense, but deeper investigation shows they may have a point. So, why are the U.S.'s glory days in basketball at the Olympic Games over? Enjoy the video. These are the reasons why the USA basketball team in the Olympics will never be the best again. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Background. Two of its gold medal winning teams were inducted to the Smith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in August 2010. The 1960 team, which featured six Hall of Famers, four players, two coaches, and the 1992 Dream Team featuring 14 Hall of Famers, 11 players, three coaches. The team is currently ranked first in the FIBA World Rankings. Traditionally composed of amateur players, the U.S. dominated the first decades of international basketball, winning a record seven consecutive Olympic gold medals. However, by the end of the 1980s, American amateurs were no longer competitive against seasoned professionals from the Soviet Union and Yugoslavia. In 1989, FIBA modified its rules and allowed USA Basketball to field teams with National Basketball Association players. First such team, known as the Dream Team, won the gold medal at the 1992 Summer Olympics in Barcelona, being superior in all matches. With the introduction of NBA players, the team was able to spark a second run of dominance in the 1990s. Facing increased competition, the U.S. failed to win a medal at the 2002 FIBA World Championship. The 6th, the 2004 Olympic team, being depleted by a number of withdrawals, lost three games on its way to a bronze medal, a record that represented more losses in a single year than the country's Olympic teams had suffered in all previous Olympiads combined. Determined to put an end to these failures, USA Basketball initiated a long-term project aimed at creating better, more cohesive teams. The U.S. won its first seven games at the 2006 FIBA World Championship in Japan before losing against Greece in the semifinal finals, ending the competition with the bronze medal. The team won gold two years later at the 2008 Summer Olympics in a dominant fashion. This success was followed up at the 2010 FIBA World Championship, where despite fielding a roster featuring no players from the 2008 Olympic team, the U.S. did not lose a single game en route to defeating host Turkey for the gold medal. The Americans continued the streak of dominance in the 2010s by going undefeated and capturing gold at the 2012 Summer Olympics and 2014. FIBA World Cup. At the 2016 Summer Olympics, the team, led by Mike Krzyzewski for a record third time, won its 15th gold medal, making him the most decorated coach in USA basketball history. After Krzyzewski stepped down in 2016, Team USA lost to France in the quarterfinals of the 2019 FIBA World Cup, finishing seventh overall. Prior to the implementation of a new FIBA competition system in 2017, the U.S. team used different players depending on the circumstances. In 1992, 1999, 2003, and 2007, the Americans sent in NBA players as they needed to qualify for the Olympics. 1989 and 2005, the U.S. also used the tournament for qualification purposes, but sent in either college players. In 1989, NBA players weren't allowed. Or NBA Development League, CBA, and European League's players. In 2005, the U.S. team didn't need to win gold in order to qualify for the World Championship. In 1993, 1997, and 2001, the U.S. team entered the tournament without any specific purpose and was represented by CBA players in 1993 and 1997, and by junior players in 2001. In 1980, 1984, 1988, 1995, 2009, 2011, 2013, and 2015, the American team didn't enter the tournament. 2017, the U.S. participated for the first time in 10 years with a squad of NBA G League players and American professionals playing in Europe. European leagues. Recent losses to Argentina and Australia. After an exhibition loss in Nigeria over the weekend of 10 to 11 July shocked the basketball world. The U.S. men's Olympic team lost another exhibition game on Monday, this time to Australia. These losses come just before the Olympics. On Monday, the men's squad, including MVP Kevin Durant and notable all-stars like Damian Lillard, Bradley Beal, and Jason Tatum, lost to Australia, 91-83, in an exhibition game in Las Vegas. It was Team USA's second straight loss loss following a 90-87 loss to Nigeria in an exhibition on Saturday, and it happened on their home turf. Dating back 
back to the 2019 World Championships where they finished a widely disappointing seventh, the U.S. has lost four of its last six games in international competition. The Americans did have opportunities on Monday, but Durant, Lillard, and Tatum all missed. Three-pointers in the final two minutes, 30 seconds of the game cut into the lead of Australia. The losses have raised concerns about the team's defense. Nigeria hit 23-pointers, while Australia scored 44 points in the paint and rebounding on a squad that doesn't boast any seven-foot centers. And a team with an overwhelming amount of offensive talent able to spread the floor has failed to reach 90 points. After decades of U.S. basketball exceptionalism, it's been eye-opening to see a squad of some of the best NBA players struggle. Head coach Greg Popovich and Lillard on Monday both partially blamed conditioning. Get smarter, get in better condition, and then we have an opportunity to do something very good, Popovich told reporters. We are still working at becoming a team, getting our legs under us, and getting in shape, said Lillard. Such arguments sound flimsy when considering that five squad members were playing in playoff games from late May to mid-June. The rest of the roster played as recently as mid-May when the regular season concluded. We're not sure why conditioning is needed. Maybe conditioning like playing in the NBA? Lillard also noted that this team hasn't been together long and is still working on its chemistry. The U.S. doesn't have much time to figure things out. They played another exhibition on Tuesday against Argentina, which they won. No, the game doesn't technically count, but at least it was a win. Once the Olympics begin, the Americans will be tested right away with a group stage game against France, one of the best teams in the competition. If they lose the match, they'll have an uphill run for the rest of the Olympics. Team USA is missing Devin Booker, Jeru Holiday, and Chris Middleton. We're still playing in the finals of the NBA. Holiday and Middleton would help their perimeter defense, while Booker's yet another scorer who can spread the floor and create his own shot. Those three will presumably be in game shape when they join the team. Of course, adding three new rotation players may not help the team's chemistry struggles. We'll have to wait and see. Thus far, they don't look anything like a squad ready to win Olympic gold by 30 points, like we last saw in Rio in 2016. To make it worse, other teams are smelling blood and will definitely bring their best game. Is the USA in decline? International competition has indeed caught up to the USA basketball. Many countries have a handful of NBA players on their rosters. Those teams often develop great chemistry from years of playing together, but the US is still expected to win gold and by a margin of 30 points. Maybe USA basketball fans should start getting real. The world's not that small anymore when it comes to basketball. The USA dominated in the past due to the fact that the prevailing country in the world in terms of big basketball competitions has always been the USA. Basketball has become more popular around the world. There's the National Basketball League, NBL, in Australia and the Basketball Bundesliga in Germany, for example. The USA also needs to get its priorities right. The USA is the only country where their national competition is seen as more important than international competition. Other countries see international competition as more important than a national competition because it's about national pride. Countries other than the USA tend to only play their national anthems when they're competing internationally. The USA, however, plays its national anthem during national competitions. USA basketball is probably not in decline, but the rest of the world's getting better. With such competition heating up, the USA is seen as an easier target due to its overconfidence and the fact that international teams are becoming better and have better cohesion. Countries like Australia thrive on international sport competitions for teams. They've repeatedly won the rugby and cricket World Cups in history and see basketball as another area in which they can improve. They love to play their national anthem before sticking it to other countries. Their recent win over the USA is seen as an instance of national pride for them, especially since it happened in the USA. The US needs to have more pride in its international sporting events. With that, we've come to the end of the video. What do you think? Feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you back here soon. Until then, stay safe.